Good afternoon and welcome to the Electro Lurker, the international electro community's only insider newscast. I, of course, am your host, Jonathan Crane, and this program will cover all the news in the electro community from last Sunday right up until yesterday. So let's get into it. Biggest news in the electro community this past week, Germany has announced that it is now VERT certified. They've gotten the license and they will now be holding their own vertified competitions in Germany in, and it looks like the first one is supposed to take place in March or April, so sometime in the spring. So we will now commence the game of who can survive the longest against Lahore Tech. <laughs> Just kidding. Or maybe not. But anyway, I think that this is a really good thing. It'll be very interesting to see all of the main dancers in Germany squaring off against each other. And also, I think that this is definitely going to light a fire underneath some of the dancers out there. And it will definitely propel Germany into a, a, a higher level. So who knows, maybe in a couple of years, you might be seeing Germany versus Russia even on the international stage. And also, I messaged uh, Crow Hooligan, which is the uh, the team from Switzerland. And as you all know, there's a German uh, part of Switzerland. So I asked them if they'd be attending. And they said that in Switzerland, they have their own electro competition. But some teams from Switzerland might be going to the Vertified in Germany. So I don't know if that means they're going to be participating or if they're just going to watch. But... Either way, definitely something to look out for there. In other European news, Romania released a two-part video of their trip to France, very similar to what Vulcan released a couple weeks ago. There's some good shots in there. Also, Erie Electro and Latvia released a training vid. Ukraine released a training vid. And both Mediotechs, Mediotech Spain and Mediotech France, released videos as well. There was also some really good compilation vids that came out this week. FWT Lutex released a Trixie compilation, very good, sums him up perfectly and I think that uh, this would definitely be a video to show to anyone who's getting into the electro lifestyle, the electro community and also I think it could also inspire uh, people that have also been dancing for a while. I know it definitely inspired me. Also, Yana Richard from Russia released a compilation vid on her account. I don't know if she made it. I think it was made by one of her fans. But uh, before I saw this video, my uh, personal opinion was that Belka was the top dancer out of the entire Russia. And every other girl dancer was just trying to uh, catch up to Belka. But now after seeing this compilation, I'm definitely a solid Yana Richard fan. And I also like how... Her boyfriend, Yarus, whenever she's dancing in competitions, he's always right behind her and he's just getting so amped and then sometimes he just gets so amped that he starts dancing and shit so dope. I also like how she brings in the kind of like that sassy style, like she winds her hips and swivels her hips. So she brings in that kind of like sassy, sexy style, which is pretty dope. Then over to the USA, the USA was definitely busy this week releasing what seemed like a video almost every day. Technology, the godfather of United States Electro, was super busy releasing three videos in the past week. It all started late last Saturday when he dropped a video of Mimi. Mimi was one of the, uh, the first five dancers in the United States. She did some videos uh, right when that channel was created. And she went on kind of a hiatus. Now she's back, she's doing jump style, she's doing shuffle. And she's doing voguing and whacking as well, so super versatile. And then Technology followed that one up with videos of Royal Tech and Expander. Also elsewhere in the United States, fan favorite Alexo dropped a vid produced by someone named Audrey Richards. And Alexo definitely is one of the few guys in the world who's uh, really trying to do his own style, trying to put together his own style. So whenever he drops a video, people are always pretty stoked on it. And then finally, United States finished off the week with which what was one of my favorite videos. This guy named Max from El Paso, and he has a really a uh, really unique style. He's incorporating a lot of uh, whacking elements into it. 
I think this is what the community needs right now is people coming in, infusing a lot of different elements into the electro dancing and really pushing it forward. And then finally in South America, Milky from Dance Generation Ecuador dropped a video. It's just a two minute video of her dancing in the club, but uh, she's definitely one to check out. She's super hot, brings in again that really sassy style, except she does it with that hypnotic quality that only Latin women can possess. So if you haven't checked Milky from Ecuador out, definitely head down to her channel check out her vid. She only has two of them, but they're super insane. And uh, I guess that's the news for this week. From now on in, uh, in subsequent programs, I hope to, at the end of each one, do a, a kind of a question and answer. So if you've got any questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, message the account. Or you can message me on Facebook as well. I haven't, uh, I was going to make a URL for my Facebook, but uh, I didn't get around to that yet. But I'm Jonathan Crane on Facebook. If you can track me down, I'll hopefully have a URL up and running soon. Definitely for the next broadcast. I also, uh, I like to put out a call for channels. I'm looking for channels from Montreal, trying to find out about the scene there. I know a few of the dancers, but... Uh, Still, I'm still trying to learn about the scene out there. Also looking for channels from France and also channels from Africa. And if you know of any cool channels or if you're an electro dancer yourself, uh, definitely don't hesitate to message me on the account and uh, just let me know of some sick channels. So that's the news for this week and I'll see you next Sunday. Peace.